when was the last time that you truly took about 20 to 30 minutes just for yourself, just to relax? That's what this Smoke With Me series is all about. Loading up a bowl, sitting down, relaxing, not getting in a hurry, not fast forwarding to get to the next video or to speed through something or to doom scroll to the next interesting topic. I'm talking about really just stopping and relaxing. That's what this series is all about. So if you're in a hurry, move on to something else. But if you want to let the worries disappear with the smoke, you're in the right place. Welcome back, Pipers. Hobbiton Piper Kevin here coming to you from the Arkansas River Valley in America. The United States of America, to be exact. For our bowl today, I am smoking out of my Savinelli 673KS. This is the Alligator Red. Look at that little alligator on the stem there. <laughs> I've had this pipe quite a while and really have enjoyed it. I love the 673 shape in general. I've told you that before. If you're new to the channel and haven't visited the Pipe Stories playlist, you'll see stories there about how I acquired many of my pipes, and this is one of them. So if you want to hear more about that, then after this video, you can check that out. And in it today, I am smoking some 2020 Sun Bear, which is an annual summer release by Cornell and Deal since 2019. They have come out with one every, I think it's August. And this was crafted in June of 2020, or tinned in June of 2020. So it's got some good age on it. Honey topping. It's good. I like the Sun Bear series. I was talking with one of my viewers earlier this month. And he said that he was wanting to sell some of his pipes and blends. And we just started talking about it. And I don't normally uh, purchase a lot of estate pipes. Um, I normally just get my blends online. But he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> so I did purchase three of his pipes. And I have not even seen them yet because the box just arrived. And I thought we might have fun opening that box. Seeing what's inside. So let's do that. So I... I purchased from him three estate pipes and some blends. So let's grab the first thing in here and see what it is. Yes, so this is a, a blend that 
is an annual release, a Sutliff annual release at Christmas time. And I did not have this one because um, I just didn't pick any up last year. But this is the Kringle Flake from 2023. I believe I've got, I know I've got 2021, 2022. I think I've got 2020 as well. So 2020, 21, 22, and now 23. I love the 10 art on that. Look at that. That's great. You're going to notice in this box there's a bit of a Christmas theme. It's kind of odd for the time of year this is being filmed, but um, I didn't have any Christmas pipes, or um, and I didn't have this particular Christmas blend, so that just happens to be what this box is going to be about, at least some of it. Yeah, pipe smokers in general, we just don't get in too big of a hurry. <laughs> the world today is so sped up from our entertainment to our jobs. Everything is just moving so fast. And the pipe really lends itself to requiring you to slow down from the, the preparation of the leaf, packing the bowl, your cadence as you're smoking is so important to slow down. And all this kind of goes against uh, the modern day way of doing things. So yeah, here on this channel, I just don't get in too big of a hurry. And that may not be for everybody, but if you enjoy relaxing, listening, sharing a bowl. You're in the right place for that. Let's see what's next. Mm. <laughs> Early morning pipe. I have reviewed this. Go to the pipe blend review playlist and you will see early morning pipe. Love it. And a second one. Good deal. Ah! This wasn't part of the deal. This is a surprise. He threw in the 2022 version, which I believe I'm about out of the 10 that I had purchased. So this is great. And I can compare those two as well. That's the 2022 10 art as compared to That's one of Sutliff's better releases, I think is this annual Kringle Flake. So if you, if you don't normally pick that one up, at least pick it up maybe for 2024. If they do it again, I assume they will. Let's see what you think of that one. Remember, be sure to tell me what you're smoking, what you're smoking it in. Don't have to do it right now, but at some point, because as you're watching this video, you might think of something else you want to comment about. So you might want to wait to comment, but don't forget to comment because I do read every single one of those and I do my best to respond to every single one as well. So I may miss one on occasion, it's not intentional, um, but I do love to interact with you. So feel free to comment as you wish. What else do we have? Oh, by the way, several of you have asked me what sort of insert I've been using in my videos recently. And, you know, this is just a Zippo, but I don't prefer the flavor that I'll sometimes taste from that uh, Zippo fuel. 
the lighter fluid. Um, so I prefer the the butane because there's there's no there's no flavor there to the butane. But I like this little Zippo configuration. And so what I did is, and I think Zippo may make an official one now. I don't own one, but this is a this is a what's called Z pipe. I just got it on Amazon. It says Z pipe, and you just fill it with butane. And you can just hold it over your pipe. A little button right here. And you push that button and the flame comes down from the bottom. Oh gosh. Sometimes it gives a little burst. <laughs> a little burst of air and blow ash on you. You just gotta be careful. Making a mess. Okay, try that again. I like it. And surprisingly, it does pretty well in the wind. Um, a couple of my butane lighters, they, they don't perform very well in the wind. But outside, this one, this does pretty well. Anyway, something to, something to play with. Recently reviewed this one. Nightcap. says opened on it. So this one is an open tin. Was not expecting this either, but an open tin of the 2023. Let's look at it. Oh yeah, that was nice. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for these little bonuses. I know you're out there watching. You didn't have to do that, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Okay, what else we have? More, more tens? I, I was expecting this. I forgot about it. He had some loose capstan blue. So I said, let's work out a deal on that. So got some capstan blue here. Let's see when this was from 2021. And it was February of 2021, it says here. So that's got a three years of age on it. That's hard to believe that 2021 was three years ago. And in my favorite sized little squat ball jars that have become very hard to find, I think they're discontinued. So that's cool. The jar, sitting in the jar is a special surprise. Thank you. That's great. That's great. I love these little jars.
how in the world I have not reviewed this, I have no idea. I need to fix that. You put some age on that. That's worth your time. Okay. I believe we are to the we are to the pipes. So let's grab one here. Estate pipes. Do you have any estate pipes? It's just a word that we use in the in the pipe world for pre-owned used pipes. And whether you're looking on eBay or talking to a friend, um, you can sometimes get some really good pipes that way. And I'll talk about some of those in my my top five factory briar pipes video because there are a couple on that list that I wouldn't have purchased new but was able to get them as an estate at a reasonable price and so that's a good way to do that sometimes and if they've been well cared for um, it can almost be like getting an, a new pipe or hopefully relatively easily restored um, so you, you do need to know about their condition prior to purchasing them so if they uh, if they look good though could be a really good deal for you. Okay, I know what this is. So this is Kamoy's of London. And between 1976 and 1998, Kamoy's of London made a Christmas pipe each year. And this particular pipe was released in 1989. So let's see this together for the first time. Oh, wow. It says it right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Kamoi's Christmas 1989. That stem's in pretty good shape. Yes, it is. Pretty good shape for its age. Very, man, that's got beautiful grain on it. Got the sun right behind me here, so it may be hard to see, but... Man, did a good job protecting that rim over the years. Mmm. It's a bent Dublin. Got that broad bowl, nice stain. Kind of a curled shank. Now this is a, a vulcanite stem. Do you guys know the difference between like vulcanite and acrylic? I guess we could talk about that a little bit. This is beautiful, this is beautiful. I'm very, very happy, very happy with that. Let me put this back in here. That is exciting, super nice. Let me light this back up. We'll talk a little bit about vulcanite and acrylic because that's something I haven't talked about, I don't think. Some of you have asked for longer smoke with me videos. You may get your wish today.
So vulcanite is a, it's a rubber treated with heat. I've got one out here somewhere. I brought, I brought another pipe out here. Let me, let me pause the video a second and find it. I've got it sitting here somewhere. Got stuff everywhere. Okay. This is the Rossi Vittoria 8673. And this is, you see it's the same shape as the 673 I'm smoking here. But this is an acrylic stem and this is a vulcanite stem. Now look at this. This is a, it's a hardened rubber really is what it is, vulcanite. And it was, vulcanization was invented by Charles Goodyear as he was trying to <laughs> figure out how to increase the lifespan of rubber tires. And so he accidentally dropped a mixture of rubber and sulfur into a hot pan. And he realized that he could increase the heat and that rubber would harden and become more durable. And he patented that as vulcanization. Uh, which was named after, I think, the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. And so, then the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, when it was founded, it was named after Charles uh, for that invention. But anyway, it's a hard rubber sulfur combination. And over time, that combination can begin to what's called oxidize, and it can start to turn kind of a green, a greenish yellow. So to prevent that, you really have to maintain it, keep it polished. There's a whole method to restoring a vulcanite stem. But here's a good example. So this is my Rossi Vittoria. And again, I don't know if, how the lighting is today. I just wanted to come out here and smoke with you, so I didn't really work with it much. <laughs> lighting may be bad. But the back of this is still really shiny black, but the front side of this has become oxidized, where it's starting to turn a little green, a little matted, a little yellowed. And that's that sulfur coming to the surface and that will happen much more quickly if you leave pipes out in the sunlight, for example. I happen to have this particular pipe sitting on a stand near my office window. And so this front side is exposed to light, whereas the back side really is not. And you can seriously see a significant difference. The black still looks like on the back is, is still looking polished, like when I first bought it, whereas the, the front side is looking oxidized. So there are things you can do to restore these back to perfection uh, using a sanding process, polishing. Maybe I'll do a video on that someday to show you. I need to work on some of mine anyway. But um, vulcanite is very comfortable and it can be uh, worked with very easily to, to get smaller bits and things that make the stem very comfortable, and that's why some people prefer vulcanite. Now, acrylic is just a stiff, durable plastic, very resistant to scratching, and acrylic became really popular in World War II, and they started using it for, like, uh, aircrafts and gun turrets, submarines, um, they found that if it were to shatter, that it, there was much less likely chance of it injuring soldiers. And then after World War II, um, it was just, people started using it for everything. So, 
it's very it's very durable um, very hard scratch resistant uh, so it's great I mean acrylic stems are wonderful for pipes um, they're sometimes hard to tell the difference uh, visually between them but one of the ways is that acrylic let's see if I can do this without dumping my bowl acrylic really passes light through it you see how the light's coming through that acrylic really easily that's one way you can sometimes tell um, is that light will pass through acrylic really easily whereas and this is a bad example because this is black anyway but um, vulcanite will not like it doesn't pass light through it it's very dense so it's, it's just a preference, uh, but acrylic, a lot less maintenance on acrylic stems than your vulcanite stems. And in fact, my friend Russ just recently told me that he has started storing all of his vulcanite stemmed pipes in a drawer um, so that they stay out of the light. He doesn't have, he got, he's just getting tired of having to maintain them all the time <laughs> with them starting to oxidize. Um, it takes work to keep them looking new. And so he just drops them in a in a drawer. Now you may ask, is it a problem if they oxidize? Well, it can be because that sulfur um, can sometimes be detectable to your taste and your smell. And you don't want to taste sulfur. So you do really need to keep them maintained if you want optimal smoking experience. Uh, but anyway, there's some information on vulcanite versus acrylic. Got me a Peterson. This is a Peterson System Standard Rusticated B42. It's in great shape. I'm happy with that. Bent Apple. It's got... Um, that dark stained rustication. <laughs> and this has the P-lip. Are you familiar with Peterson's P-lip design on the bit? Let's talk about that a little bit. Very unique design and it was patented by Charles Peterson himself, probably 120 years ago now. And what it is, the whole of the mouthpiece is on top and it directs the smoke to the roof of your mouth instead of it being on the end like most all pipes are, where the smoke is directed to your tongue. And the hope of this design is that it will reduce tongue bite, um, maybe it will, maybe it won't for you. Um, but it's an interesting design and I did not own a P-Lip. So when I saw he had this pipe potentially for sale, I was very interested. So. P-Lip design of Peterson. Very nice. Super happy with that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Gorgeous. Very cool. Uh, you know, you never know when you make purchases like this if, it's, if you're going to be happy or not, but to this man's credit, he sent me a lot of pictures. It was great to work with, and 
I know he's watching. These are great. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm very pleased. Very happy. Very happy. All right. There should be another one in here. Oh, you know what? That first pipe, the Kamoys, he sent me the stand. I don't know if it was a stand that came with it originally. Probably not, but he sent this stand with it. Look at that. It, it was sitting there in the box that I originally opened for the pipe, and I forgot to show it to you. I saw it was sitting in there. Let's put the pipe on there and look at it. Oh, that is cool. Perfect fit. Just holds it nice and snug for display, and that's how I will display it. That is great. So cool. Isn't, isn't the pipe smoking lifestyle so fun? There's just so many facets of it that are so fun. If you like pipes, you can focus on that. If you like different blends, you can focus on that. If you like different tampers, you can you can get a bunch of those. I mean, it's just such a cool hobby, lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. I've got two pipes here still to show you. Did you, did he send me an extra pipe? You did not have to do that, man. But I think he did. And I think it's this one, because I don't recognize this. Oh, my. That is cool. <laughs> Little bonus pipe there. Look at the grain on the back of that. That is so cool. Oh, that, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't expect that. The generosity of pipe smokers is truly, it'll take your breath away sometimes. I'm so thankful. This looks unsmoked. Beautiful. It says WT eighteen oh eight on it. I should probably know what that means, but I don't. Okay, I know what this last pipe is. And I'm super excited about it. Because in 2013, so 2013, Savinelli started making their St. Nicholas line of pipes. Every year, they'll come out with a new design for a Christmas pipe that year. They've done it ever since 2013. In 2022, they came out with a design that I absolutely loved, but I just did not put a priority on getting one of the pipes that year, and I regretted it. Um, this past year, 2023, the design was mainly a blue, like a winter blue stem with, I believe, like a, a snow white banding 
maybe and maybe some nickel banding as well but that was kind of the the color design and then it comes out in various shapes um, you know like the 673 or the 320 or whatever well in 2022 the color scheme was it had this red shimmering acrylic stem it had white and green i believe yeah conifer green and nickel that's what it was Con conifer green and nickel banding and then like this dark burgundy rustication so he had one of these he had the 626 and so this is the 10th installment of the series 2022 he had the uh the 626 so this particular model just screamed christmas to me this particular color configuration just screamed christmas and i always regretted not getting one so let's see this should be another bent apple shape oh starting out hot with the red pipe sock here we go let's see what she looks like Oh, yes, yes, and more yes. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that beautiful red stem and the silver and green banding. Now that, that is a Christmas pipe. That's a Christmas pipe right there. Oh, that's exciting. That is exciting. Savinelli St. Nicholas 626, made in Italy. absolutely beautiful that's awesome <laughs> i get giddy about this stuff it's it's just so fun to me this is this is great mm, light easy to clench and just gorgeous the legacy of these pipes will live on and i will someday hopefully pass them down to others after my time on this earth is done they will they will reach others that's the thing these pipes they 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 will live long after we're gone and they will carry the story and legacy forward that's what's happening here and at some point these will these will move on from me i hope you've had a very relaxing smoke with me session today I try to at least give you something interesting to, to listen to <laughs> instead of just sitting there staring at me, uh, hopefully giving you some good informative content and uh, just some relaxing things to listen to. So thank you for being here today. Be sure and press that like button if you enjoyed this. And you can join me over on Instagram where I will post little pictures along the way of just things going on with my life and uh, things I'm enjoying. And thank you so much for my fellowship of supporters. You can read more about that in the description below. And until we talk again, go enjoy some good food, good drink, and continue enjoying your good pipe. <laughs>